morning. I just want to share with you my favorite breakfast. This is Daterade. If you haven't had Daterade, if you don't do Daterade regularly, you're missing out. This is really good stuff. It's just some decent quality dates. They're not great dates. The amount of money you spend on them doesn't matter. Just judge the quality by how moist they are. You know, you can tell what's a good date. It's, it, anybody can tell. It's easy. Um, so get a package of good dates. Usually a pound of dates with the pits in it has about a thousand calories. So for me, that's one meal. I'll usually go a little more than a thousand. Soak them overnight uh, without, you know, pit them, soak them overnight. Just throw them in the blender in the morning. It's the quickest recipe ever. It's so easy. It's pretty uh, cheap too. There's other fruits that are cheaper. Bananas, raisins. Um, prunes are really cheap too. Dates. Um, just so delicious. They have so much, uh, Just they're just so nutrient dense. They're like 80% sugar by weight. And the rest of them is just vitamins and minerals. They're a superfood, they're amazing. And they just, like this stuff digests really well. It digests fast. But it, it, it digests really well. Just make sure you don't eat heavy stuff before you have this. This is a morning thing. When you're all clean and cleared out, you have the data rate. Otherwise, it'll run into the other food and it'll bloat you uh, bad. Like, you know, you got a big heavy ball in your stomach and then you got the data rate that would just pass right through otherwise. It stops and it just like creates gas and bloating. So you have this when you're clean, when you're feeling clean, and it'll enhance that feeling. You'll feel clean and nourished. And this uh, right here probably has like a thousand calories, maybe a little less. And it's just really, this is a thick, thick Daterade. Because you can adjust the sweetness to your tendency. You just put it in a blender, right? The, however many dates you want and however much water you want. You adjust the sweetness and thickness to taste. So it's just dates and water. About 800 calories here, I would say. It's just thick, sweeter, definitely by far sweeter than a milkshake. Uh, like from McDonald's. It's sweeter, but after you eat like McDonald's milkshake, you feel like just slowed down. You know, everybody knows how you feel after eating a fucking big thing of ice cream. You feel fucking gross, man. Just mucus like sludged up your blood's not moving properly your blood's all fucking clogged up with fat you're not supposed to have that much fat in your diet it's not healthy you can not supposed to have that much fat in your blood too it's very dangerous to your health but it also just slows you down and it makes you feel gross you know this stuff is like essentially zero fat like there's a little bit of essential fatty acids, omega-3, omega-6, um, but barely any. It's like, you know, uh, I got a two, about 2,000 calories of Daterade to get me through most of the day today, and um, it's, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, I, I lost it. My short-term memory is just shit to, these past couple days have been staying up late and all this stuff but uh yeah this just it keeps you clean man it keeps you lean fucking oh man I can't imagine I always 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 have fruit for breakfast uh you know at, at least five days a week minimum minimum I can't imagine having like Going to going to work and having like a salty, fatty breakfast. That is just the opposite of what I want. I want low fat. This is clean carbs, man, that just goes straight to your cells. It gets where it needs to be. The fat just 
doesn't work like that. Like it gets into it gets into your body and it, your body stores it, but it doesn't mean that you when you eat fat that it, it gets to where it needs to go immediately. Kind of the opposite. The problem with diabetes is when uh, there's too much fat in your cells, so the sugar's not getting where it needs to go. So it's not the fact they eat sugar. Most people that eat high carb diets do not have diabetes. Most people, most people who eat, who do not eat high carb diets are at high risk for diabetes. People that eat plants, high carb diet, in other words, have less risk of diabetes. And low fat cures diabetes. So. Don't eat the fat that gums up your your body. It just it clogs things. It's clogging. Eat the stuff that's cleansing. And it's sweet. I mean, I get to enjoy this every day in abundance. I, I'm gonna drink this whole fucking smoothie and I'm gonna feel boom, like energized on it. I'm gonna feel better than I do now. My brain's gonna be working better. I'm um you know, and my cells are gonna be like all hydrated with the potassium there's like bananas don't have shit for potassium dude seriously not they got like fuck all these dates highest potassium source in the world in the world man any food and it's just so readily absorbable and such a sustainable food too I mean, yeah, okay, the dates will make you fucking lose weight. They're so low protein. They're so low fat. They got trace amounts of sodium. Just enough, you know? Like, not, there's no, like, real sodium content. It's just electrolyte. Just a little tiny bit to uh, keep you going. And the body is okay with that. The body deals with low intakes of sodium fine, that's natural. Your kidneys are take care of uh, how much electrolytes are in your blood. If you eat too much salt, it, it kind of, uh, you know, it takes effort for your body to get rid of that salt. So you want to have a high potassium balance, a uh, high potassium to sodium ratio. So you want lots of, a high potassium diet, low sodium. Um, yeah, anyway, about the sustainability. Dates grow on big, tall palm trees, and they grow in the desert. So, um, they require less water than a lot of foods, like, you know, high carb foods in general just require less water. I'm not sure about dates in particular, but that's one thing. And the roots of these trees go deep into the ground. Ew. The roots of these trees go deep into the ground to get water, and that helps build topsoil. What we need is food forests. What we need to focus on is the trees, the fruit trees. And that is just obvious, you know? So, this is not a vegan promotion video, although veganism is the only morally acceptable way to eat within modern civilized society. This is a video promoting fruit consumption. So, um, what does that smell? <laughs> fruit, uh, is the food that, oh man, fruit just does everything for you. I, today, until, uh, until and after lunch, I kind of, I eat small meals throughout the day most of the time. Or I'll just nibble. Because, uh, I don't know, I just eat when I feel like it, you know. You can't, like, overeat on fruit either. That's the thing. Like, when, you, when you're done, you're done. Um, when, when I'm eating, like, uh, other foods, like, just regular people food, starches, um... I don't know when I'm full, like, I just, I just keep eating and eating, and it, there's just no fucking signal, uh, I, 
I, it doesn't, I, I don't feel satisfied, you know, with fruit, you feel satisfied. You just eat it and you're like, oh man, that, it's so delicious, every bite is, but when you eat the right fruit, not, not talking like unripe, inedible fruit, I'm talking, you eat good quality fruit dates, man. Bananas too, ripe bananas are good, con, they're just consistent, you know. Every bite should be delicious. This is just. Mm. It's just good. It's like creamy, smooth, like vanilla. Um. Yeah, fruits will do it all for you, so. I hope you try this recipe. Try Daterade. It's really good. Um, if you live in my area, I'd say Trader Joe's is the best place to get dates around here. Um, but, you know, look around. Find them. Trader Joe's has the most moist, ripe dates recently. But it's good to shop around and see what you can find. If, um, if you vote for... You vote with your dollar, you know, every every dollar you spend is a vote for what you believe in, so you, the best place you can possibly spend your money is on ripe quality produce. Quality produce. I can't, there's nothing more important than, uh, you know, the food that nourishes your body. So, vote for food that tastes good. It's generally um, just grown with the most care and compassion. The, the fruit that's quality fruit, man. Um, yep. Yeah. Alright, that's enough. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your fruit for breakfast. Enjoy your fruit for lunch, even for dinner if you so desire. It is good stuff. It's good for you. And it tastes so good. All right, peace.